All aboard your tech news games and deals caboose. We have some good tech news with AMD CPU for console war stuff coming up, as well as Android Q dark mode and some Trump space missile stuff to talk about. So let's start off with AMD Navi graphics and Zen cores to unite your next Xbox 2 and PlayStation 5, most likely. So what we have here is a leak from Tom Apisak, and there's actually a tweet and he breaks down what it's actually called and what he found. So we have, basically we're seeing the Zen processor architecture and with its future Navi graphics card. And it's looking like an APU, meaning the processor should have integrated graphics. So again, we're, here's the, uh, the code name 2G Gonzalo, uh, Gonzalo. And that is going to be for gaming consoles and everyone has kind of already been expecting a lot of this. So we're still not super confirmed on Zen or Zen 2 architecture, but we do see some actual specs. So we're looking at a one gigahertz base clock for the leak and a boost clock of 3.2 gigahertz. And just for comparison, the PS4 Pro is 2.13. The Xbox One X, the Pro models is 2.3 gigahertz. So about a one gigahertz higher than the other two basically right now. So that'll be good performance increase if that's what we're actually getting. And then we're also seeing Navi 10 Lite graphics uh, processing. So again, um, everyone's kind of pointing at E3 right now for when AMD will actually launch Navi and start talking about it more. But who actually knows besides AMD? They probably aren't sure yet. They're probably still working on it. And we're also, again, expecting all the consoles stuff to come out in 2020, so they could announce it this year or the year before. So we'll see where AMD uses their graphics processing and CPUs next. So, and then here's the leak for that, the tweet. And we also have Android Q. So we basically just got P, Android P this year, and well, last year, but uh, we are now seeing an Android Q in like a developer early preview mode. And this is from XDA. They actually have a whole video on it, but we get to see a system wide dark mode. So you'll see it through all the settings menu and you'll actually be able to force some of the apps to be dark mode as well, even though they're not integrated with it. But in Android P, just some of the stuff was actually themed to dark mode. So like the top bar was dark and a lot of the other system wide stuff was still a regular white background. So again, here we are with the override of dark force, force dark mode, and that can actually turn some of your apps into a dark theme, even though they don't actually have a theme. Like YouTube's app on your phone does have a dark theme mode, but this is messenger and account setup. And what is the third one? Something else? I can't read it, it's too small. <laughs> and also with Android Q, you're obviously going to save battery life if you have an OLED display because the pixels can actually be turned off on those types of displays for phones and screens. So a dark theme would save on battery uh, on top of just in generalness. And then we get to see some permission revamp. So they talk about some of the different things they found for overview of permissions. You can actually restrict certain permissions like location only while the app is in use. So it looks like there's a lot of different menus you can dive into and you can actually find out what app is using what permission it sounds like and like the microphone or your webcam or the camera on your phone and you can uninstall or force stop the app that's doing what you don't want it to be doing <laughs> and then we get some other little things that aren't quite working it sounds like the desktop mode there is going to be something similar like the samsung dex it's a pad that you can put your samsung the newer samsung phones on and it, and it basically puts it up on your monitor is in a desktop mode and this is just like a android q version so just the software side will be able to do it but it didn't seem like it was working some other little tidbits they found in this preview was uh, freeform multi windows by long pressing on the app they also had some game update package preferences style stuff that looked kind of interesting and they had a built-in screen recorder with the thing so you wouldn't have to download another app so interesting stuff you can check out the whole article they go a lot more in depth and the video shows a side by side of basically everything that's, that's going on with the dark theme mode and and more and that's 12 minutes so you can check out android q way ahead of time basically and that leads us into some more google news really quickly we don't get too much into politics but article 11 is 
kind of important for whichever side you're on. So Google kind of showed off a what would happen if the EU went through and finished the Article 11, uh, all the EU legislation stuff. And basically, if you were to search for latest news, you would basically just get a title. You wouldn't see a picture of the video. You wouldn't get a description. And what else was missing? No headline, no picture, no summaries of the story. So basically, the, the Article 11, the copyright uh, style stuff, uh, you wouldn't be able to, Google wouldn't be able to show this without either paying for licenses or just not showing it. So that is, uh, this is, there's a little bit more on this, but basically uh, the license payments would be have to go to newspapers and they would basically have to pick winner and losers. And this is kind of what the article is going into. And so some people would be showing up and others wouldn't, but de depending on how big the newspaper or whatever you've signed up with Google for. And then Google News would have to make the choice of not showing anything because it doesn't really make any revenue. And then they kind of get more into what's actually happening here. It's a little bit more of a scare tactic, but that they weren't actually an unreasonable interpretation of the legislation. So this is kind of what could happen as to what is going to happen. It's probably just going to, again, be uh, other things might not pop up in the search engine. Something like that could happen. And there's a lot, it's, it's pretty deep Article 11 and it hasn't passed yet. We're not sure where this is going to lead for everything else just past Google. So it could have other consequences as well. And along with the consequence of creators making more revenue because that's what the whole copyright thing is pushing for. It has a good idea behind it, but some of the other repercussions that it could have are may be good or bad. So we'll have to see when this happens. We'll know more in a couple months when actually stuff starts going through, but just keep informed. So yeah, you, here, here's the thing from the search engine, land.com. And here is space Star Wars stuff from Trump calls for space-based missile defense. So this looks like a fun topic we can go over. So this was actually kind of started uh, proposed by Reagan in 1983 but the technology doesn't exactly exist back then, so we didn't see any space missile style stuff. So what we're seeing now is Trump explained that a new missile defense system would detect and destroy any missile launched against the US anywhere, anytime, any place. That's a pretty big claim, Mr. Trump. <laughs> so we also have um, some more quotes. My upcoming budget will invest in the space-based mission defense layer. So it looks like a lot of like radar style sensors and stuff and it's new technology. It's ultimately going to be a very, very big part of our defense and obviously our offense. So we heard a little bit about the Space Force a couple months ago when they talked about opening up the sixth branch of the mil US military. So interesting stuff here. They didn't actually show, they didn't actually give us any details to what this is gonna look like or when it's coming, but this is based off of, kind of based off of the missile defense review, the 2019 version, which is kind of just came out, I guess. And just in part, that reads, if you want to get some more technical information, as a rogue state missile arsenal developed, space will play a particularly important role in the support of missile defense. So we're looking at Russia and China and stopping their cruise missiles and hypersonic missiles and, and more. So interesting, hopefully the Space Force comes soon. Sounds like it would be fun. But we have some Netflix announcements for the Space Force. And this is a pre-trailer. It's not actually a trailer, it's just an announcement like it says. And on June 18th, the federal government announced the creation of the sixth major division of the United States Armed Forces. Again, the Space Force. And the goal of the new branch is to defend satellites from their attack, perform other space-related tasks, or something. And it is, this is the story of the men uh, and women who have to figure it out. And it's brought to you by The Office, so this is going to be a comedy. It's going to be pretty funny, most likely. And it is created by Greg Daniels and Steve Carell. And it's starring Steve Carell. And that is the Space Force. And there's no actual trailer footage, it's just an announcement again, but get hyped for that. Hopefully coming this year, 2019, we'll have to wait and find out, but we're gonna see a funny show about what the Space Force is gonna happen, as well as actually see if the Space Force actually turns into anything. 
So interesting space technology topics for you. We also have some actual tech news, and that is a gigabyte monitor, a 27 inch 1440p, 144 hertz IPS FreeSync Aurorus, the AD27 QD model. So this is pretty interesting with RGB and an interesting style stand. And it is an 8-bit panel with a 10-bit scaler, includes FreeSync, and actually has active noise cancellation too. So that will help with yeah, microphones and stuff for gamers who are using different voice chats and stuff. So a microphone further away from you might be able to pick up other background noise, I'm assuming is what they're going for, and be able to cancel it out better. And then there is RGB. There's four different programmable RGBs. So the back panel, this logo, possibly the sidebar, and somewhere else maybe. Maybe each of these are separate, separate RGBs. Interesting. And then we get to, into some of the cooler software style stuff. The on-screen display can actually, there's a bunch of software controls for this monitor from Gigabyte. And you can show up mouse DPI, CPU stuff, GPU stuff, uh, fan speed, and some other little cool things. And so this is a gaming centric monitor and the launch date is end of January for $600. So a little expensive for the extra software stuff, the RGB, the stand and a 1440p monitor, pretty, pretty pixel dense for you. And we have a couple of Microsoft stuff to end on with that Microsoft no longer sees Cortana as Alexa or Google Assistant competitor. And what this means is basically we just kind of just got a quote from Nadella from Microsoft and they're kind of eyeing as Cortana. Here's a quote, Cortana needs to be that skill for anybody who who's a Microsoft 360 subscriber. Microsoft 365 is a subscription service and it's like the office style subscription stuff. And it also includes like the Skype premium stuff. So all the different Microsoft subscriptions. And so, so Cortana is looking to be more like a skill and I guess be used by the other assistants. So you could say Google, okay, use Cortana to check something in Microsoft Office or something along those lines, I'm assuming. I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's what they're going for, skill-based instead of an actual digital assistant is what we're looking at there. And then lastly, we have Microsoft ending Windows 10 mobile support. So if you have a Windows phone, you will no longer be getting security updates on December 10th. So just 12 months away, a little bit less than that. So you will want to be switching over to an Android or iOS device. So I'm sorry, Windows 10, you could not compete. And with that, we have Lulu saying, my dark theme is not dark enough. You are doing something wrong then because you obviously don't have Android Q. And it looks like you're also ready for the Space Force. I'm not sure when signups are for that, but be ready for it. We'll announce it here on this channel when you can sign up. And we will have another episode tomorrow at 3 p.m. And it'll be a weekend combined episode. We're trying to do split the two to up so people can check out tech or games. And we will be signing off now. Pew, 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 pew.